la Universidad Autónoma de Occidente somos wow. Somos calidad. Y tú eres la razón de este proceso de excelencia. Somos tecnología que garantiza la proyección de tus ideas. Somos innovación y emprendimiento. Y estamos felices de acompañarte en la creación de tu proyecto de vida. Somos inclusión. Sabemos que la educación es para todos. Una mezcla de ideas, cultura y sentimientos que nos dan una mirada, como la tuya. Somos responsables con el medio ambiente y así puedas impactar a tu entorno. Somos personas enamoradas de lo que hacemos. Somos como tú. Somos wow. Clic. Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome to Wow Speaks English. My name is Ana Toro, your host, and you are welcome to the last program of this semester, 2022-01. I want to welcome my co-host, Javier Sanchez. Hello, Javi. Hello. We're going to say hi to the audience watching us live. You can chat with us, talk, chat, comments, and things like what's your name, what do you study, and what semester are you, are you in, and from where are you connected. Perfect, Javier. That's what we want to know from you. Remember, we're going to read you from the comments and we're going to be interacting with you. And I also have my beautiful girls, Estefania Cañas and Valentina Soto. Hi, guys. Hi, how Hello. are you? How so, are you doing? How oh. do you feel? This is the last program. Yes. It's a, it's a um, sweet and sour feeling, right? Yeah. How do you feel? This is actually your last program of mm. your career. Last I feel first. I feel a little bit empty already. <laughs> <laughs> and your first program. The, the last and the first program. I'm so excited and a little bit nervous about my recently surgery, but it's okay. That's fine. You're going to do just fine. We want to say everybody that Estefania has been with us for at least two years. Yeah. Like two, three years, three, maybe? Three, I think three years three because years. we started in 2019. Yeah, I think so. And she started as a member. She became the director of the teams along with Andres Rivero, who is also graduating, as you know. And now is her time to graduate from university this semester. That's why today is her last a program with us however we want to say thank you Steph oh yes thank you it's okay it's okay we really appreciate all the work that yes. you have done for us all the leadership skills and before we actually start the program I'd like to know how was it at the beginning and how can you compare yourself now in the program 
To be honest, I feel I don't feel that bad because I live. Uh, uh, because I think I already, how do you say that, like fulfilled my goal. Uh, when I joined the radio, I was really shy. I could never ever talk to anyone <laughs> in English, like n not even a hello. Uh, and I said, okay, I, I have to. I'm already at the university and I can even speak English. Like I know English, but I can speak. So that's why I joined the radio and I've seen myself grow. Like I, I'm here talking, that's enough to say. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm very thankful and I think I already achieved my goal here in Wild Speaks English. So congratulations for having that initiative, for definitely wanting to improve yourself. And I have seen her progress and it has been night and day. I can definitely uh, feel very happy that this program and this space has contributed to your um, personal and professional growth. So we want to say thank you, Steffi. Thank you. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and Balin is going to tell us some information about our social networks. Yes. Um, and while you write in the comments, we invite you to follow us on Facebook and Instagram as a Walk Speech English. There you will see weekly fun facts, videos, and info regarding our future programs. That's right. And if you're a WOW student and like me, you would like to uh, try something new, challenge yourself and grow, learn more English, practice, we invite you to be part of our radio team. You can, you can send us a message saying why you would like to join. That's correct. And if you want to be a guest, you have a specific topic that you think would be interesting for us, send us a direct message, let us know what the topic is and when will you be available to be present as a guest in our program. So without further wait, let's go into our first section, the tip talk. Many things happen every day at the U. Let's discuss them at tip talk. So today we have a very relevant topic thinking about summer vacation. We are a few weeks into ending the semester or ending school and we are going to have a deserved rest. That is why today we're going to talk about hidden places and unusual activities that you can find here in Colombia and that you probably didn't know that you could do and that existed to enjoy during this vacation, right Bali? Okay, that's right. I think at this point we are craving some fun, fun free time. So before we get into it, we would like to ask our audience a question. Did you know of secret or not so well-known places to visit in Colombia? Please tell us in the comments and we will be re reading you through the section. Okay, let's just start by talking about a place that can be only be accessed by boat or flying, and it's called Capurgana. Guys, have you heard about this place before? Never in my life. Never. <laughs> I, I actually have heard about this place. I have been wanting to go to this place. I know it's famous for snorkeling, but you have to have like specific uh, permission to go there. It is not so open like San Andres or Cartagena beaches because this is actually a sanctuary. So sanctuary. And yes. it's really hidden because if you only can get there by boat or flying, it has to be hidden. Yes, definitely. It's not the everyday thing that you can just um, go the next day. But Javier is going to tell us more about it, right? Yeah, Capurgana is a unique place surrounded by beaches, reefs, and jungle. And you can enjoy beautiful landscapes between a small bay and dense tropical jungle. Okay, and I also know that it's located in the department of Choco, in the Caribbean coast, and it is a vehicle-free zone. It means there are no cars, no motorcycles. I don't know if motorcycles. <laughs> but there are yeah. definitely no cars. So it is a place where you can really relax, breathe the pure air. 
Steph is going to tell us more about the activities that we can actually do in this place. Well, in this paradise you can dive. Uh, thanks to its crystalline waters, it is possible to appreciate the great diversity of our waters. And I mean, if they don't have cars, it has to be really how this decontaminated, decontaminated, clean. clean. Uh, you can also do some kayak. I did kayak once this year and my arms hurt for like a week. <laughs> so I warn you, if you want to do kayak, you, you're going to do some exercise. Uh, and one thing pretty unique about Capurgana is that you can get to Panama on foot. I, I was really impressed by that. You can go to another country just by walking. And during the tour, you will see monkeys, butterflies, birds, and many other species. And once you arrive in Panama, you will be able to enjoy more paradisiacal beaches. But before we continue with this topic, we want to ask a question to the audience again. Have you gone to any hidden places in Colombia, any places that are hard to reach or there are not very commercial or touristic? We are not talking about Cartagena, San Andres, Santa Marta, no. These are the usual ones where a lot of people go. We want to ask you, what are your suggestions for a place that is not so well known, that not many people know, but definitely that is a good idea to visit this vacation. We have some comments right now that uh, some of you have already sent us uh, saying hello, just saying hello to Daniela Castro, to Sofia Olave, to Andres Felipe Diaz, Elvis, Jesus and Yurani, all of you, thank you very much for connecting. Uh, Juan Jose Martinez says that his favorite place is San Andres. Well, definitely Juan Jose San Andres is such a beautiful place. But have you gone to another place that is now so touristic, that is different than the usual places that people visit? Um, we have Jesus Albarracin says my favorite place is Cali for sure <laughs> and you know there's so many things to do in Cali it's just that we don't know we always visit malls yeah that, that's true that's true we have Jurani saying my favorite place is Salento Salento is very nice Jurani Good place definitely do we have any other comments there to share okay uh, Bali can you read over there yes um, Elvis say my favorite place is Chorreras del Indio. I don't know. Yeah. I think that one is up uh, in tu pueblo Pansi. Yeah. <laughs> the know. river pass through the okay. Pansi River. So yeah. that's definitely a hidden one if you don't know about it, right? <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay. So vale, let's keep going. Okay. Um te las, eh, te fa uh, you say um, for walk to Panama? Yeah, walking. you can get to Panama uh, when you're in Capurgana. You can get there on foot. But how? How? How can you do that? Because it's Capurgana is located literally like right there. Uh, it's how do you say that? Bordering? Yeah, bordering <laughs> Panama. So you can just walk. It's a long walk. <laughs> it's not like it's right there around the corner. No, you you need to walk a lot, but you can get there. You can get to that country, and there are a lot of uh, beaches that you can enjoy. But uh, don't worry if you don't feel like walking. You can also get there by boat. Yes. Nah, but I would like to to go on foot because you can actually enjoy nature yes. doing that. So, no yeah. cars, no cars. Yeah, so natural. Do we have idea. some other um, other comments that we can read? Maybe from our audience telling us what hidden places they know or that they have they have visited to. Yes, here um, Daniela say my favorite place is Parichara. It's a good place. I've uh, heard that that is considered the most beautiful town <coughs> in Colombia. Yes, it's located home. in Santander and it's, it's a good and nice town. Uh, other comments, uh, Diana say, Diana Chua say, San Cipriano is a nice place. I don't know where, where or what is this place, but San Cipriano. San Cipriano is on the way to Buenaventura. Yeah, I've okay. heard San Cipriano, but 
I don't usually go out. <laughs> oh <my. laughs> so well, after this program, you're gonna yes. have the homework to visit all these places. Yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And others, other comments. Uh, Daniela Castro say uh, Lago Calima. It's a good place. Are uh, other city like Pereira, Pereira, or Cartagena? And Tumaco. Mm -hmm. Tumaco, yes. Okay, so. Unlike this place, like Capurganada, that is in the sea, there is also a place called Oasis La Sirena, whose environment does not go unnoticed, and it is a charm. This is a river composed of crystal clear waters, surrounded by rocks, as if we're in a cave, and it's worth mentioning that it's one of the most striking water resources of Colombia. So I bet that you haven't heard about this one before. Oasis La Sirena, definitely this vacation time, I'm going to take some time off and decide when I'm going to go to this place. It is located in Dagua, so it's from Cali. You can take the way to Buenaventura, get to Dagua, and definitely get all the details about this beautiful, beautiful hidden place here in Valle del Cauca. Right, Javi? Okay, it's located in the Danubio. Nario Reserve near Cali. Here you can go hiking, get into natural water pools, waterfalls, and do bird watching and flora and fauna. Colombia definitely has a lot to discover. It's amazing that we are surrounded by so much beauty and many times we don't know how to appreciate it. Urgently, I need a vacation to all these places. Yeah, same, same, same. I feel like I need my alone time <laughs> in a paradise. All that year. Oh, yeah, the whole year. <laughs> Thank you. And since we're talking a lot about nature, I want to tell you a little fun fact. I want to ask you, did you know that here in Colombia we have a pyramid? What uh, do you mean? A pyramid. like, But a, a, re a, like a real made pyramid or? That's the thing. It's a natural pyramid. It is called Cerro Tusa and it's located in Venezia, Antioquia. It is the highest natural pyramid in the world. And as you can see there, it's literally a pyramid and it's natural. And it has a height of 1,880 meters above the sea. How, uh, how did it get to, to be so pointy? That's the mystery. Ah, Actually, okay. nobody knows. This pyramid is rock. Is that a rock? Yeah, it's mountain, but it has oh, that shape. Okay. <laughs> okay. Also, this place is not only recognized by the pyramid, but also by the different meanings that have been given to it. According to Eco Global Expeditions for Geologists, it is an ancient volcano, and for the indigenous, Senifanais, it is a sacred place of worship. For others, it's an energetic center, and for others, an ideal place for UFO sightings. Oh my god, so pick a plan. Where do you want to go? To the beach, to the river, to the mountains. We have all the options for you. It depends on what you prefer and what is closer to you. So if your plan is going to see UFOs, show up sounding interesting. Once on the Cerro Tusa, you can hike around, you can learn more about these natural pyramids conceptions, and you can go glamping. Or if you are more into adventures, you can have just a regular um, camping tent, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, definitely, Colombia continues to impress with its natural wonders. But for now, let's read the comments to see what the audience says about this place or other place we may not know about. Exactly. So let's read some of the comments that we have over here. Do you know any of these places? What other places can you recommend for this coming summer vacation? Let's see, let's see. We have here Andres Felipe says that to the end of the world, waterfall in Putumayo is fantastic. Again, I don't know that place. <laughs> we're learning, we're learning, <laughs> definitely. Yeah, we're learning. That's, that's why we are having this program. 
So yes. the end of the war, waterfall in Putumayo. Andres Felipe, thank you so much for that suggestion. We're going to add it up to our list of the hidden places. Olivia, Olivia Arikapa, eh, todo about El Topacio in the Farallones. And that was close by. Yes, as you just go into Panse and from there you can start um, hiking into Topacio. Okay, Good that was, too. thank you Olivia for your suggestion. Uh, Isabella Duque, she says Caño Cristales is also a beautiful destination. But I've heard that it's hard to get to there. It's very far. From here it's really far. You have to, you can go in a vehicle, right? You have to go like in an animal or something. That's what I've heard. I think first you go by plane to, to Cúcuta and then from there you take a truck or a bus to the nearest place and then from there you take a horse <laughs> oh, okay <laughs> yeah lomo de mula <laughs> so if you go there you better like adventures because you're gonna yeah. have and you better have plenty of time mm -hmm. it is not something that's that you true. can just do on the weekend because you're gonna be exhausted that's true that's true but if you are more into visiting towns we also have some recommendations that you may already know or not so first we have Mompox. This place is located in the department, department of Bolívar. It transports the tourists to another dimension because of the structure of its streets, which have a Spanish style. At the time of the conquest, Mompox was an important point of mercantile connection between Cartagena and the interior of the country. Yes, and there is also this other town called Jardín in Antioquia. It is considered one of the most beautiful towns in the country. Surrounded by mountains, there you will find a diversity of flowers, birds, and a very marked paisa culture. It's a good culture. It's a very small and cute town. I have actually been there. Really? Yes. yes. When, when I went to Piedra del Peñol, we did this also, this trip. It's beautiful. It, the, the balconies and the kind of architecture is similar to Salento. Yes. And they have this little. waterfall and river that is very pretty. So <laughs> if you are in Antioquia, if you are in the Medellin or Piedra del Peñón area, it's close. It's not too far. Right, Javi? Okay. Javi? When you go to Monpoz, then you can take a tour of the colonial town, visit the Basilica Menor de la Inmaculada Concepción, which was built in hand-carved stone and take a tour of the coffee and lands and learn about the process that goes that into making a cup of, co of coffee. Yes, and you can also go horseback riding, take the bee tour where you can learn about that little animal and everything it does to produce honey. And if you like to feel a little more adrenaline, you can also do Canyoning, canyoning, mm. canyoning, canyoning, canyoning. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you, this can, you can try well, this. Canyoning is an extreme sport. Uh, you descend a waterfall by ropes. In this case, this great escalera de cristal waterfall. And no, you you don't need to be an expert, but you do need to be careful if you want to try it. So from the top, there's a waterfall, you're at the top, you have a harness, you have some ropes, mm -hmm. and you start descending. I mean, you have the water on your body, on your face, and you start descending until the bottom part of the waterfall. I am definitely up for it. I love string sports. So I will try. That's something. That and, and the, um, these rapids. Rapids? The uh, rapids boat. I, yeah. That's something Ooh, that I would like to amazing. do. That's amazing. That's amazing. I think this is so far my favorite plan because, I mean, you can do a lot of stuff. You can do this the extreme sport, you can visit a cultural place, but you can also go and meet bees and, and how they make coffee. And I think this is my very uh, my favorite plan so far. A complete plan. Yeah, it's complete. Yes, you can uh, try a different activity and also in now and other culture and this case for the bees. So making a parenthesis, we want to invite everyone to fill out our attendance list. If you are connected into YouTube, 
go into the description and there you will find a link. Clicking on the link, it will open a Google form for you to complete the attendance. Later on during the program, we're also going to post, or right now, this is the link that you can fill out or right here you have the QR code to scan it with your phone and fill out the attendance so that you can get those extra points as attending the club. That's right, that's right. I think so far we've talked about magical and very relaxing places in our country, but we have a plan a little bit more spooky. So this neighborhood might be more known. It is a neighborhood La Candelaria in Bogota and it is a very historic place from its style to what you can find there because it is a place full of museums to learn even more about the history of our country. There in La Candelaria you can also find monuments, plazas, theaters, churches and much more. You could say that history never dies in this place or never goes away. What do I mean? It turns out that one of the attractions of this place is that it is inhabited by ghosts. Oh my god! <laughs> so that's not my favorite plan. I don't like to be scared. <laughs> <laughs> but there are times, maybe in the October month, where you are into this like spooky Life. season, yes. that you are into getting scared. So that could be a good plan. But Javier is going to tell us more about that. <clears throat> On the tour of La Candelaria Ghost Town, there are many myths and legends that date back to the colonial times. This has been a place where they, there have been public tortures of people, <laughs> murders, and other tragedies. And uh, it is said that those who went through this never left. So there are people who say they see ghosts haunting their neighborhood, screens and moon, moon, <laughs> moon sun her in the early morning. And some of these ghosts haunt people. It's so scary. Gosh. So, however, visitors and residents of the area who have lived there for years claim that they have never witnessed any of this. That is just inventions to attract tourists. So there you have both sides of the coin. The stories versus people that live there, that they have never seen a ghost. So I think it is your job to go and find out if this is true or not. The thing is that there's people that actually say, I've seen the ghost, I've heard the screams. But there's other people that say like, you know, I've never seen anything like that in my yes. life. Uh, however, it is up to your interpretation because there's people that say that they are more like sweet to witness these kind of things or sensible th yeah they're more sensible yes. uh, to feel and to see things and there's people like me I've never seen anything so I I just I'm gonna say ah okay that doesn't exist but just because I don't see it it doesn't mean that it's not true and it's also it also makes a difference if you want to see them yeah right <laughs> Oh my gosh. So let's go into reading some of the comments that we have here. Active participation from our audience. The last person commenting is oh, Tatiana Merino. She says, I like Valle del Cocora because of the landscape. Definitely those um, uh, palm oil trees. They are so gorgeous. So tall. Definitely. The palms. Bombs. Again, trees. I've never been there, okay. but <laughs> but I know the place. I know the place. You have seen them in pictures. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm very curious about going there. Do you see the other comments? Yes. Um, yeah, yeah. Fernando say Finlandia and Salento are beautiful places. They are Oops. definitely beautiful places. What I have seen or heard from family members or friends. For instance, that during uh, holidays or vacation time, they get really, really crowded. Yes. Yeah. Or real. Uh, the cafes and the restaurants is so crowded, and uh, you you can walk normal. It's horrible, but it's a good place. It's so beautiful. Uh, Salento in Finland, I think, is. Um, Similar, similar places for the the colors and the 
architecture. Yes, but it's a good, a good plan. But you say um, in holidays is so crowded. But that is the bad idea for holidays. But a high season. Yes. Andres Felipe Diaz, he is giving us another wonderful suggestion. Andres, are you into traveling? Because you're giving us very nice hidden places. He says, I would like to go to Necocli. I've heard it's gorgeous. Necocli? Yes. I've heard that place again. <laughs> but I've never been there. Oh, I think that is in the God. Pacific. Okay, I think. All right. I think there, that's it for now. Yes, there are other activities, right, yeah. Steph? Uh, there are other activities that seem to be enjoyed only in other countries, but we also have them here in Colombia. And one of those is flying in a hot air balloon. Can you imagine that? Oh. That's my dream. Yeah. Yes, it's so cool. Oh my God. Yeah. And actually, there are a lot of places here in the country where you can find this amazing experience. Where? You can fly near the coffee park in Quindío or visit the Tatacoa Desert in Huila. Oh my God, I don't know that. And you can also find the balloons 45 minutes from Medellín to get to know the lands of Antioquia. And of course, you can tour the capital. Fly over the Simon Bolivar Park, El Dorado Airport and several hills in Bogotá. It's a good, good plan. Okay, the tours can last from one to three hours, but have a slightly high cost, which depending on the place. Guys, uh, how much do you think can cost this? Um, the maybe like a million pesos. Ooh. Thank you, Per next. person. <laughs> Between th uh, 300. 300 uh, and 6,000, uh, sorry, uh, 3,000 3, and uh, 600,000 pesos per person. 300 to 600,000 pesos yeah. per person. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, it was less than I expected. But for one yeah. hour? But one, it's, a, it's, a, it's a life experience, once in a lifetime. Is, yes. The thing is that you are not uh, doing the whole tour that one <coughs> hour. Because one, a part of that hour is what they spend uh, uh, inflating, inflating oh. the, the balloon. So no, 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 I want them to start my time from the moment I'm in the basket yes. yeah. um, and I start flying. From that, I'm going to start counting with my <laughs> yeah, watch. One hour. <laughs> yes. I want Give to. me my complete hour. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's expensive, but, but if you have the money and you really want <laughs> to experience this, what is stopping you? That's true, that's true. If you have the money, you have the money. Can do you, you, can do, you can do whatever you want. Can you girls imagine asking someone to marry you in a balloon, in a hot air balloon? Wouldn't that be a dream? But what if yes. I say no? You throw the, the, the <laughs> ring. No, they're going to throw me <laughs> off the balloon. You better be wearing a parachute <laughs> before that, they, yeah. they push you out. Yeah, they're going to push me or it's, something. It's a cute... Um, Propose? Proposal. Yeah, but, it's actually cute. But if the case when she says no, it's <laughs> 30 be, minutes more. <laughs> you're there. In yes. The air. I just I, said no. I think that, that <laughs> when someone asks another person to marry them, because nowadays a girl could ask a man, the man mm -hmm. asks a girl, oh, or okay, yes. in any kind of relationship, it doesn't matter who they ask. You have to be really sure of, of, of how you stand in the relationship at that moment and how long have you been together. Of course, if you have been together for only a month and you don't ask someone that. to marry you, they're <laughs> going to be like, I don't even know you. Yeah, no, don't do that. <laughs> But idea. if you're going to ask someone to marry you in a hotter balloon, you have to be really sure that she's going to say yes or that he's going to say yes. Yes, um, Because the person can say, yeah, once you're yes. down there. Uh -huh. ah, sorry, I thought about it and thank you. No, <laughs> no, I, I think not. Thank you for thank the treat. You. <laughs> Let's think of happy endings. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that is the yeah, idea. Yeah, yeah. Urban balloons, yes, but parachute, no. No? Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Okay, we have other like flying experiences and we want to ask Diana about the light plane experience that she had. So tell us more. We have a video actually, so the yes. audience can know what we're talking about. Let's play the video and while you're watching, I'm going to tell you everything about it. Uh, 
So this one is an ultra light plane. My husband gave me this gift for our first anniversary, wedding anniversary mm. in uh, September last year. It was a surprise. He just took me there because he knows that I like extreme sports and very like high adrenaline uh, experiences. So the idea is uh, you can ride with the instructor. I'm going to be there. You're going to see me there putting my helmet on. And then the instructor goes in the front. So an expert uh, with more than 30 years experience is the one that is going to be flying the plane. The plane has an engine in the back with um, with a fan and that is how the, um, the plane is going to take off. And after we are uh, in the air, the plane is managed or controlled from that bar that you see right there. In just a few minutes, you're going to see us take off. This happened in um, Bijes. This is the way to Kalima. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Before going to Kalima, on the left, you take a left turn. You go to Bijes. It's really close. Probably from Cali, it's like an hour. Ooh, mm -hmm. we have that really near. To, to near? Yes. Uh, I'm, in a few minutes, I'm going to give you Ooh. all the information mm -hmm. regarding the pilot. You can take uh, an hour flight. This was an hour flight that my husband had purchased for me. But I think that 30 minutes is enough. There, what you just saw is Laguna de Sonso. So we flew on top of that for 30 minutes. In 30 minutes, we said, I think that's enough. We came back and my husband also got in the plane. You see him right there. <laughs> he was so... He was so nervous, but he did it. He loved the experience. He was actually afraid of doing this, but it was very nice. You don't feel like that emptiness in your belly. Ooh, terrible, terrible, yeah. So this is how, how it went. He landed. So definitely if you are into like extreme sports or new experiences, uh, flying into an ultra light uh, plane, in Bihes is the plan for you. I am going to give you more information about this plan in our Instagram account. So if you're not following us yet, go to Instagram very quickly, follow Wow Speaks English, and there I'm gonna give you the name of the pilot, the prices, and everything so that you can also do this this summertime. That's a nice gift. It's a very nice gift, yes. I am afraid of heights. So I would consider <laughs> that experience, but I'm also like into challenging myself. I would do it. I would probably be crying when I'm up there like, God, <laughs> take me now. Um, but yeah, I will try it. I will try it. It's a good plan, a good gift too. And your husband is so, so cute. Oh, yes, he <laughs> is the best. He definitely surprised me. Yeah. Um, a different, no kayak or other walking for the mountains, I don't know. Or not the different. typical restaurant yeah, or like flowers. Restaurant. Yeah. That's yeah. cute, but that's just the same. This is still another level. So baby, yeah. what are you going to give me this year? It has to be better than <laughs> that. that. The hot it's air the balloon. <laughs> the hot air balloon could be a suggestion. Yes. Just saying. Just a little clue. I, I'm going to leave that on the table and I'm going to go back slowly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's Science. We are talking about flying. Do you guys like butterflies? Yeah. Butterflies are gorgeous. The animal, the butterflies. Do you like butterflies? Yeah, butterflies. Not the okay. big butterflies in uh, your house. <laughs> the no, no, black that butterflies, but the small, yes. Uh, there is a place in Colombia where approximately 10% of the country's butterflies can be found. This is a unique natural area of Los Estoraques in Norte de Santander. It was actually closed for 10 years, but in 2021, last year, it opened the doors to the public. Its apparent mountains are striking due to their shape caused um, by erosion. You can see there, it's like it's not a normal mountain, it's more like it's cut or something. And here you will walk more than 1,400 meters accompanied by an expert guide to watch birds and butterflies and other unique flora and fauna of this area. Uh, you will find birds such as parakeets and mammals such as Brazilian foxes and opossums. 
opossums. I don't know what is that animal. Do you remember Timon from The Lion King? Yes. That's an opossum. Oh, okay. okay. And you can find that in Los Estoraques. All right, very good. So you have many options. I hope that you're taking notes, that you're already deciding what to do in this coming summer vacation. But before getting into questions, to make sure that you are paying attention, we're going to watch our favorite part of the program where our members show their acting talent. This is called Drama Time. Waking up early, taking the bus, studying for midterms. Oh no, it's raining again. This is... Drama Time! So in today's drama time, we're going to show you something that could happen to you on vacation time. Let's watch it. I live it. Uh, I we are already finished the university period. Can we celebrate with something? Of course, baby. That's some great. Yeah! I'm ready. Mm, guys, I don't know. I'm going to check if the schedule already posted. Be relaxed, Danny, and enjoy, please. Well, but I only can spend five hours on whatever you want. Oh my god, yay! Yes, please, please, please. We can go to see whales near Buenaventura or go to Armero because I love all these stories and theories about like the disaster. Oh my god, yes, please, 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 please. Man, Armero was a big commercial village but it was erased by an, an avalanche. When you are arriving, you can look a big cross. The landscape is very sad. And the waters, look at the waters. I love the waters, <laughs> but we have a problem. They have passed it two weeks ago. It's too late to see them. I like the second place, but I think that I have a better idea. So guys, if you aren't afraid, I can take you to Laguna de Guatavita, and maybe we will see a UFO, or experience a dimensional door able to create bridges between two worlds. What do you think? Laguna de Guatavita is a beautiful place, but a while ago I had a contact with UFOs. <laughs> they targeted me for two days. They experimented with my mind, they asked me about the people on the <laughs> earth and after they put me whiskey in my blood, it was very crazy. Today, I haven't overcome it. No, 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 I don't want to go there. My grandpa told me a lot of stories, a lot of crazy stories about that place, like bringing to encounter mermaids, to contact with aliens. Yeah, it's crazy, 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 crazy. So, I don't want to go there. Thank you, but no. Well, I think we can go to La Caracuna de Guatapé and we can fly in air balloons it's a good experience teacher the teacher want us to go to make observation of the forest in an air balloon as part of the 10 of the next semester give extra points what do you think huh? Mm, okay let's go to that place okay come on Think no more. It is a university activity and we are going to participate on that. I think that you understand me. Okay, guys, I'm in shock because of everything that happened to Javier in that UFO extraction. Yeah. <laughs> is it true, Javi? How do you feel now? Do you? Oh, <laughs> the best. I I ask uh, an Oscar to actuation for acting, definitely, and the Oscar goes to 
Have you? <laughs> have you ever have you ever seen a UFO? I have you actually. Have? Yeah, but I mean it was something in the sky. It was not so late, but you could you could see the moon there. Uh, and there was something just flying weirdly, like in triangles or something. And I said like, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna record this. I'm gonna film. And once I put my camera there, I could see the thing flying. It was like white, but you couldn't see it in the camera. And I was like, yes. it's there, but I can see it here. Then what is that? And it was flying weirdly, like choo 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 choo. And then it just vanished. And I'm like, no one is going to believe me. <laughs> and are you sure it wasn't a drone? No, that was something it's weird. so different. Um, my yeah. sister uh, saw um, other other light. Yeah, like this, and it's so far. Yeah, it's just that the movement is different because they don't fly like this or like yes. this. It's just like it's so far and so and it, fast. Yeah, and it just disappears. And yes. I couldn't have it in my phone. I was like, I recorded. I can see it here, but I can see it here. Like. What is going on? What happened? <laughs> that is so crazy. Yeah. I don't know what that was, but it's an UFO because you don't know what that is. We have never had a program about UFOs. Ah, we should. I am leaving. That is one about <laughs> next semester, probably. Um, and we will have you as a guest. You can show your third encounter experience with UFOs. Oh, yeah. That would be yeah. nice. <laughs> and it's time for our last session. In our last program of the semester, get it right. Games, trivia, and a lot of fun. All you gotta do is get it right. So we're getting into the last section of the program. For the ones that don't know, this is the get it right. This is the place where you are going to play with us and see how much you were paying attention during the whole program to, of course, get all the answers right. Let's go into the first question, Steph. Okay, in this Get It Right, we're going to have some multiple choice questions and you have to answer them in the comments. So the first question is, the access to this place is only by boat or airplane. Mm. So what can that place be? I don't remember. What are the three <laughs> options? <laughs> the first option is Panama. The second option is Mompox. And the third option is Capurgana. Right. So which one? Which one is it? Write the letters there in the chat, in the comments. A, Panama. B, Mompox. C, Capurgana. Do we already have some answers? Yes, yeah. Andres Felipe is super connected. He's saying yes. yeah, he's saying C. Sí. Ana Milena is saying C. Sí. Cristian Mauricio C. Sí. Let me see. Let me see. What People other are saying answers? Yes. <laughs> are you sure? Is that the option? Is it Capurgana? I, I don't know. Mom Fox maybe. I've I heard the three names during the whole program. Yes. I don't know. Panama is not definitely because you can go there for walking and but you can get there by boat too. Boat. By plane, by boat, ah, no, by no. A car. <laughs> but I mean it's another country, right? Yes. yes. We are talking about places in Colombia. In Colombia. Mm, so let's good. find out. What is the answer? The answer is Param. C. Capurgana. Congratulations. It's a plus for everybody. You got it right. Yeah. Vale, what's the next question? Yes, the next question is Cerro Tusa is the highest pyramid? Pyramid. Pyramid. Thank you. In the world with a height of above the sea level. And three answers. A. 2,000 2, meters B 1880 meters or C 1880 meters Okay, so 1,880 meters or 1,818 meters We have the three options I think this one is a difficult question Yeah I uh, don't remember <laughs> <laughs> We don't even remember But you were paying more attention than we were I remember because I actually said that uh, part 
Oh, she okay. emphasized on that. What yeah. do you say, Javier? Which option is the right one, in your opinion? <clears throat> Very difficult. Take a guess. Very difficult. A, B, or C? Can be B. Okay. Can be C. How is it? Can be A. No. <laughs> no, no, no. Can be the three of them. <laughs> the, the people say most B. B. B, B, B. I, yeah. I think when, when your teachers put... Uh, three sections with more um, numbers, like eight in this case. Uh, you um, put the the final uh, option A, for example. And I think it's um, B or C. I don't know. Yeah, because the number 2000 eight. is just too exact, too exact to be true. Okay. So... B so let's find C. out, let's find out what is the answer. And the answer is, yes, is B. 80, 1,000, <laughs> 1,000, thank you. 800. Numbers on me is not. Uh, 1,000, 800, 800, and 80. And 80 meters. Yes, yes. <laughs> exactly. Good job. Javi, what is question number three? Okay, let's go to the question. <clears throat> Monpox is low for having. Okay, there's A, the largest river island. B, another dimension for tourists. C, streets with a Spanish style. Hmm. 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 Ah. I remember, I think it's... Yeah. Let's, remember, give, let's, give, let's give them a moment <laughs> to start yes. writing answers. <laughs> remember that Monpox is connected between Cartagena and the rest of the country? Okay, yeah. all right. It's a colonial, colonial place. Colonial, yeah. Colonial place. Very colonial. So yeah. if it's another dimension for tourists, it is the dimension where Javier likes to go to be abducted from <laughs> <laughs> from the aliens <laughs> and things like that. So what do you say, guys? A, the largest river island. B, another dimension for tourists. Tourists with an O, we're missing just one letter. And C, a streets with Spanish style. Ooh. We're getting answers. They're, They're saying, saying A. A. Do you think it's A, the largest river island? Um, Mom but the larger, largest river island from where? The world? Latin hmm. America? Yeah, it's a specific, it's mm. more specific. Another dimension for tourists? I, don't, I think not. Yeah, that sounds weird. And let's the find out. With Spanish style? People are saying A. Well, yes. let's see if they're right or wrong. What is the answer? Number letter C. Chon, chon, chon. C. Streets <laughs> yeah. with Sorry. Spanish style. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Yes. The answer was a street with Spanish style. Steph and Valen, they were giving you a hint. They were saying <laughs> colonial style, yes. Spanish yeah. style. Colonizer. But, but that's okay. That's okay. You still have one more question. Two and, more questions. Oh, two more questions. Perfect. So you have two more, two more chances to get this right. This is a river located in the Danubio. It has crystal clear waters and is surrounded by rocks. Which one is it? River the Mermaids, Oasis the Mermaid, or Lake of the Mermaids? All of them have a mermaid. Yeah. Yes. I remember Difficult. this place because we said that it was kind of like a cave. Yes. Mm -hmm. give, tell us, give us more information about it, Steph. No, sorry. <laughs> I will be giving the answers. No, we, no, no, we know that the like is on falls. the way to an aventura. Yeah, Cali. it's like Near waterfalls. Cali. Near Cali, yes. Waterfalls and kind of like a natural pool or something, but it's hidden like in a cave or something. Okay, people are saying sea, lake of the mermaids. Hmm. Lake of the Mermaids. Gabriela Romero is saying A, River the Mermaids. Ah, there's something that we said the name in Spanish. Yes. So we didn't say mermaids. Well, we, all, we know what mermaid is, but just so you know. <laughs> I think the A is not. Mm, river, I think not. 
It's for because me. it says that it, this is a river. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Camilo Suarez says B. Mm. Jefferson says C. Andres Diaz says B. People are changing their answers, guys. You're cheating. First, yeah. all of you answer C, and then you're changing your answer to B. That's why I didn't want to give that much information. Okay. <laughs> well, let's find out. What is the answer? The answer is B. We previously said Oasis La Sirena. La Sirena. Yes. Yeah. So we're just translating that part because we're so international, of course. <laughs> But yeah, yeah, yeah. let's go last. to the last question from the Get It Right. And it says, which town is considered one of the most beautiful in Colombia? A. Los Estoraques. B. Jardín. C. La Candelaria. So Please just know that it says one of the most beautiful because I give you a fact that one of the towns that someone said in the comments that was considered one uh, that was considered the most beautiful, Ranchana. but this is one of the most beautiful. Before okay. we 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 um, show the answer, let's remember where these places are located. La Candelaria is located in what city, Javier? Bogotá. Bogotá. Bogotá, good. Vale, Jardín is located in... Oh my God. <laughs> Health. Antioquia. Antioquia. Ah, oh, yes, sorry. Antioquia. And Jardín too. Jardín, Jardín. Jardín, Jardín La is Candelaria in... is in Bogotá. Jardín in Antioquia. En Los Estoraques y Norte de Santander. Ah, oh, yes. Ah, right. good job. We have mixed answers right now. Pip, Laura, Viteri, saying B, Andrés, Diaz, C, Cristian, León, C, Olivia, B. Hmm. Son los de los estoraques. Mm, los Julian, estoraques. David, García, says C. I think los estoraques is not the answer. Well, let's find out. What yes. is the answer? And the answer is B, Jardín. I mean, it's called Jardín. I mean, I mean, Jardín <laughs> sounds pretty, right? Jardín uh, has to be the pretty one. Yeah. Los Estoraques is not a town. It's a natural park. Yes. So that couldn't be. And La Candelaria was the one that we talk about the ghosts. So I don't Spooky. think that's pretty <laughs> for some people. And I mean, if a town is called Jardín, I has to be that, beautiful. Yeah, it has to be beautiful. It better be. It better be. Well, guys, yeah. we have come to the end of the program. Thank you so much for tuning in the whole semester, for supporting our project, for following us on Instagram as Wow Speaks English, the same on Facebook. If you want to watch previous programs, you can go to Uh, YouTube as Universidad Autónoma de Occidente. Click on the playlist Wow Speaks English and we have 10 different programs that we recorded this semester for you to practice English, learn about interesting topics and definitely continue improving your English level. Before we go, Steffi, uh, any, any goodbye words to goodbye. your fans? Ah, <laughs> uh, no. Fans? Do I have fans? You have many fans. I don't know. I don't know. I Real haven't cares. seen the fan base. So, <laughs> I don't know. Ah, uh, goodbye. Mm, I just want to say that I really appreciate this opportunity. And I was so scared at the beginning when I decided to join Wow Speaks English. I was very hesitant. But I said, I have to start practicing English. I can go my whole life without even saying hello to anyone. Um, so I, I pushed myself and I challenged myself and I said, okay, I have to do this. So I encourage anyone that is considering joining the radio that you just don't think that much and just join, join the team and you're gonna learn a lot like a lot i'm still yes. learning i still have some words that i can't pronounce correctly <laughs> but i've seen the improvement and i definitely recommend what well, speaks english and thank you so much to liana who believed in me <laughs> <laughs> all the people who Love supported me okay and everybody Thank yeah. you for connecting. Have a wonderful end of semester, a great summer. We want you to tag our account in case that you visit any of the places. You say thank you, Wild Speaks English, for your suggestion and tag our account on Instagram stories or posts. Have a wonderful summer. 
Bye bye everybody. See you next time. Bye. 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 See you guys. <laughs> Welcome to Wow Speaks English. A radio program made by students for the world. Thank <laughs> you.